Welcome back everybody to the Cowboy Slot channel where I bring you experienced advice from years of working in the casinos, tips, reviews, and a whole lot more. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell to stay notified when I come out with future videos. This video is episode number three of an entirely new free series that I'm doing for you guys to help you better your casino experience and help you identify those good paying slot machines. And it's all backed by actual casino experience. By the end of this video series, if you've watched all of the videos, you'll better be able to understand the casino and it'll help you to pick the best paying slot machines. In today's video, we're gonna be talking all about slot machine denominations. Which denomination should you pick? Does one pay better than another? We're gonna discuss all of that in today's video. So before we start talking about which denominations are better and which ones you should pick, let's talk about the most important thing to gambling. So I've worked for quite a few casinos over the course of several years, and one of the biggest things that I have to stress when I'm trying to teach you guys something is you want to know your budget and know your limitations. Gambling is dangerous and there's never any guaranteed methods to winning. Over the years of working, I saw countless people come in and spend their entire life savings into these machines and I cannot stress to you how important it is to not play over your budget. Anytime you go to the casino, you want to make sure that you're bringing a set amount of money with you and you're gambling just that and you can afford to lose that amount of money. You don't wanna be diving into your savings account or pulling from your retirement account or anything like that. And also you want to understand too that even if you follow all of the steps and you gather as much information as possible, there is never a guaranteed way to win at slot machines. There's things you can do to better your chances, but there is no magic trick and there's not a guarantee to win. It is still gambling at the end of of the day. All right, so you've watched episodes one and two, so you've walked into the casino, you understand the laws and regulations, now it's time to pick a slot machine and it's time to pick a denomination that you're comfortable playing and that you can afford to play. So for starters, let's cover what a denomination is if you're new to slot machines. The denomination is going to be the base amount that the machine is set for. So for example, using these machines behind me, it's gonna be this tag right here. So this says 25 cents. So this is a 25 cent denomination machine. So if you didn't understand what a denomination was, the denomination is simply the amount that is on the machine. Now some machines can be multi-denomination in which you have a touchpad or you might have a screen where you can select a different denomination amount. Those would be multi-denomination machines. With the cases of a multi-denomination machine where you, the player, can change the denomination yourself, it's important to realize and understand that each of those denominations is programmed separately and independently. This means that each of those denominations has their own accounting record and their own payback percentage. Which denomination should you pick? My personal rule that I like to stick with that I've found to be kind of a sweet spot for me and easy number for people to understand is the denomination of the machine that you pick should be 1% of your total bankroll budget. So for example, if you have $1,000 with you, you should pick a $10 slot machine. If you have $500 with you, you should pick a $5 slot machine, and so on and so forth. Now again, that is just my personal opinion and that is a sweet spot that I found, so maybe your budget is different. And if your budget allows for a higher denomination or you wanna stick with lower denominations, that is perfectly okay. But we're gonna explain in this video too why picking the right denomination is very important. If you've watched my videos before, you know that I have always said to avoid those penny machines. But why is that? Penny machines have the lowest return to player statistics of anything in the casino. A lot of people ask me, they say, why is it that penny machines have such a low return to player? So the reason return to player is so low on penny machines, it's very simple because people sit there for a longer period of time and they spend it more times. Whereas on a higher limit slot machine, people don't play those as often and when people do play them, they don't play them for a long enough period. So let's talk about the difference between denomination and bet amounts. So the denomination is the base value of every credit on the machine. The bet amount is the credits. We can bet one credit for 25 cents, or we can bet two credits for 50 cents. Remember that the slot machine is programmed based off of the denomination amount, not the bet amount. So using this slot machine as an example, 
It's a 25 cent machine, but we can bet up to 50 cents, which would be two credits. Now, just because I'm betting 50 cents does not increase my odds or does not change anything about the machine. The odds are solely based and reliant on that base denomination, which is 25 cents. So why is it really important to know the difference between the base denomination and what you're actually betting? That gets into the deception factor. So this is where the deception really comes into play with penny machines. So you come up, you sit down, you're at this penny machine, and a lot of people think, oh, it's just a penny. I got this. No big deal. I could sit here for hours and play this penny machine. No biggie, right? Wrong. Well, a lot of these games and a lot of these penny machines, and this is why it's very important to review your game rules like we covered in episode one of this series, is because on a lot of these games, these penny machines in particular are going to require that you play the higher amounts or a max amount or a special extra amount just to qualify for a lot of these bonuses and really get to enjoy and play these games. There's even some versions of penny machines out there that will say on the screen that if you play the max bet amount, it increases your odds, which again, always follow what the game rules say. If the game tells you that playing max is going to increase your odds, then play the max because the game is not going to lie to you. However, this is where the deception really takes hold because on a lot of penny machines, you could be betting 500 credits, 1,000 credits, or even in a lot of cases, more credits than that. So you're spending $5 or $10 on a penny machine. Now here is where it is important. You have to understand that the machine is programmed for that payback percentage at the base denomination level, and that is it. If you sit down to a penny machine and you're gonna spend 500 credits, $5 a spin, go to a $5 machine or go to a $1 machine with five lines or something because work your way up those denominations, guys, those lower denomination machines are not gonna do you justice for your money. The biggest takeaway from this is you want to pick the highest denomination that your budget allows you to play. And you want to understand that as you increase the denomination amount, so do the odds. If you're playing with a lower budget amount and your goal is to get a hand paid jackpot, check out this video. I'm gonna put a card in the top right hand corner as well as a link in the description below. This is a low budget method that I've developed and the feedback has been phenomenal. There have been so many comments and messages from people all around the country that have used this method to get their first hand pays. So check out that video. It's 100% and totally free. So just to give you all a shorthand summary, higher denominations, better odds. Multi-denomination machine, each one is programmed separately. So pick the highest one that your budget can allow for. And watch your budget, be responsible, and don't spend more than you can afford to lose. So let's talk briefly about those states out there that publish return statistics for slot machines. We're gonna use Nevada as an example. If you look at the return statistics from the state of Nevada, from the Nevada State Gaming Commission on casinos, you'll notice that it breaks it down by area, and then also breaks it down by denomination. Now this is where a lot of people get confused and something that I want to point out. These numbers that you're seeing are actually the returns for this particular period for the denomination of slot machines listed. This is not the number that the machine is set at. And that's where a lot of people get confused. All this document is, is showing you the returns for that denomination, for that area or that casino, within this particular window of time. The numbers on that report are always going to change and are always going to keep changing because it really depends on the amount of people that are playing those denominations and what the casino is giving out and taking in for that particular period of time. It is not because the odds on the machine changed. One of the biggest misconceptions that people have is they see those reports and they think that that number is what the machines are set at when it's actually not the case. So then when the next report comes out and the number is different, they assume that the casino changed their odds. When in actuality, all that report is is just an overview for what the machines paid out during that particular period. So if you happen to be interested and you want to review those reports, I think that's a wonderful thing to do. Just don't get confused and think that that is the number that the machine is set at. All that number is is the difference between what the casino took in and what the casino paid out for that particular denomination. So just don't get too caught up in those numbers and stick to the basic rule of the higher the denomination, the better the odds are going to be. 
So once you have found a denomination that works for your budget and that you're comfortable playing, it's time to dive deeper into the slot machines themselves, which we're gonna cover in the next episodes. As a reminder, this is episode three of a video series. If you missed the first two episodes, you can go back in the playlist and watch those. And then also remember to hit that bell for notifications when the next episode comes out. By the time this series is done, you'll be able to better understand slot machines and better your casino experience. Thank you all so much once again for tuning into the Cowboy Slot channel. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell to stay notified. As always, best of luck to you. Please do play responsibly, and I'll see you next episode.